Engineer 775 here. Been thinking a lot about all this cold weather and uh, people's pipes busting and uh, having to go outside to, to get water. And uh, what I want to share with you today is a neat little pump. Uh, this pump here, it's a E2 pump. It's actually made in Italy. It's an extremely well made pump. You hear it making its noise right now. I'll show you some diagrams of it later. But this pump is going to be great if you have a shallow water source. That could be your swimming pool rain catchment system, a shallow spring, even a shallow well. And if you have existing plumbing, that's what I'm going to show you, how you can tie it in to your existing plumbing. So just picture being in a very cold climate, but you have a basement, and you've got a plumbing uh, system already set up with your well or your spring or what have you, and you just want to go downstairs when the power goes out, and you just pump this baby, and you can take a shower. This is a really good pump, six gallons a minute. We're going to make about 38 PSI in your bladder tank so you can distribute water throughout the house without a problem. So I want to show you, just kind of putting it together right now, um, going to set it up for, basically setting it up now to drain it if it's not being used for a long period of time. And I'm going to show you how I would tie it into an existing well. Um, this will be a drain. This valve is going to be added to, if, it, if the pump sat for six months to a year, I'm going to show you that I would add mineral oil to it, not mineral spirits, but mineral oil just to keep this going. There's brass part, it's just a extremely heavy duty, well-made pump and I want to show you how you could use it. Okay, we've plumbed up the E2 hand pump and we have, let me just start from the top. Up at the top we've got a valve, and there'll be a diagram in the video on this and that valve will just be for adding um, mineral oil if this pump sits for a long period of time. Below the pump we've got a right there a spigot to drain the pump out when we're done using the pump. Then we have this loop that is teed into your existing line. So pretend with me that this line right here is your existing line that comes from your source of water. Your source of water can be, as I'm using here, is a rain catchment barrel. Or that rain catchment barrel could be a swimming pool, a tank of any sort, any source of water that you want to use in your in your home. And so that water source is going to can go right through here and right here is a check valve that's the key to your bypass loop you got a check valve there and you've got a check valve here so the water from the booster the little red pump is going to go this way and into your tank and then um, so both pumps can be pretty much on at the same same time then to isolate you've got a, a ball valve you got a ball valve right about there okay we just hooked it up to a bladder tank to show that we are and we can pressurize the tank. Now if you're in a grid down situation for a long time, as you probably know, these bladder tanks have uh, pre-pressurized to about 2 PSI below the pressure switch start up, start, um, start up pressure, start on, you know what I'm saying? The, <laughs> the cut in pressure, that's what I'm saying. So mostly if that's a 30, 50 switch there, this tank should be set at 28, 2 PSI below the 30 on the switch. But anyway, to make life easier, sometimes you can drain, just take the air take and bleed the air out behind the bladder. So when you're using this pump, you're just delivering water to the various places in your home. Or you can leave it pressurized and have it set up where you can take a shower. So I'm going to basically show you how it operates. That's the plumbing arrangement of the E2 hand pump. Again, this pump will do six gallons a minute and we'll pressurize that tank to 38 PSI, roughly. If you want it down here, it doesn't really matter. So right now we're pumping water into the bladder tank. It pumps on both strokes, forward and back, it's pumping water. 55 strokes a minute, we'll get you six gallons. We'll get you a cell phone call. Six gallons a minute is a very decent amount. This is a very small pump, extremely well made. And again, this is just a temporary setup. I wanted to show you how it works. So we just started pumping. You don't have to kill yourself. Go slow and steady. All right, let's see what we did. So we just did a little bit of pumping there. And now this is water that went in your bladder tank. I only pumped it up to like 25 PSI. We started with no water. And so, watch out back there. <laughs> so no water. To this water. This again, this is coming off my rain barrel. Again, this water would be delivered to any place in your home. The nicest thing is you don't have to go outside to do this. So that's quite a bit of water. 
right there. I don't know what I pumped for. Not even, I didn't pump for a minute, I know that. So we're about, that's about the end of it, but it's still going good. But that's pretty good for starting with nothing. The pump moves an incredible amount of water. So, very happy with it. How can you beat that, folks? The E2 hand pump. So think about how ways you could use this in a grid down situation. Think of the benefits of it. It never stops running. No, it does, but uh, <laughs> there it goes. Oh, some dirty water there because the bladder tank has been sitting around for a few months. So anyway, that's that's it. That's great. Then when you're done, you shut this valve off because of the check valve there. Now I can take and drain drain that pump out if there's anything in there. Open this valve. You see a little bit of water coming out. Just leave that open and drain this drain this pump out. And uh, and that's that's good for now. Okay, if you're not going to be using the pump for a long period of time, you want to put mineral oil in it. Intestinal lubricant. Well, for the insides of this pump, you want to take care of this baby. And it's just good to put a little bit of mineral oil in the top. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to make a mess. But uh, basically, you just pour pour the mineral oil in here once this valve is open. Pour your mineral oil in there. Just put a little bit of. You don't need a lot, just a little bit of mineral oil in the system. Run it back and forth a few times. A little bit of pressure off of that. Oh yeah, just run it back and forth and you'll be good. Shut everything down, valves off, and we're good. All right, a great little pump, fairly easy to install. Just wanna make sure you have it mounted, um, rigidly mounted. Can mount this handle in basically four different positions and it does pump in both directions. I hope I covered everything you needed to see about the installation of one of these pumps and what they're good for. Swimming pool, rain catchment. You can imagine a grid down situation. You've got shower, you have the ability to flush toilets. You could, you know, if you have a big swimming pool, you could easily run your house off of this hand pump or plumb in some storage tanks. Maybe you have municipal water and you've got some large storage tanks of, of city water. Plumb it in with this baby, plumb it into your house with the right set of check valves and backflow preventers and you could go for a long period of time in a grid down situation just by pumping. Alright, this is Engineer 775 signing off.